Hello everyone and welcome to the Lollacost Megabit. The voice of sex is all up on this bitch by myself this time and the reason for that is that Bouncy and I have decided that over the next day or so while the issue is hot we are going to be giving our first impressions of Borderlands 2. Now I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to stretch this out to five bloody minutes because it should come as no surprise to you to hear second verse same as the first. So it largely depends uh, what kind of camp you fit into. If you didn't like Borderlands 1 you're not going to like Borderlands 2. If you love Borderlands 1, you're going to love this. If you're like me, and you fall into the camp that was kind of intrigued by Borderlands 1, like the art style, like the characters, like the setting, uh, like the humor, bloody bloody bar, then this is going to be closer to the mark for you. Because Borderlands 2 is to be fair, better than Borderlands 1 in pretty much every department. It's bigger, it's funnier, it's cleverer, it's more violent, there's more to do, there's more dialogue, it's just more so in every department. Now there are a couple of little things that might grate on the nerves somewhat. For me, I'm not buying the new character classes, which are essentially um, retreads of the original ones, only with a bit of a uh, bit more customization. For example, the soldier character can customize his turret more, so that it can be uh, a shieldy turret or a hurty turret. Uh, you, you get the general idea. Uh, the tank class is now called Gun Zerker, and it allows you to wheel, dual wield any weapon. Um, not really seeing how that works either. Uh, currently waiting for the new class, Mechromancer, which is the support class. Um, paid extra for it to get the uh, to get the new class. Not actually out yet, so I have basically been sold something that doesn't exist there. The other thing that is um, chewing salt into my cock end a little bit is the humour in the game. Now. Everybody in Borderlands 2 talks like a gamer. And sometimes it works, sometimes it's a little bit forced. Um, the fact that everybody in the game is living in this horrible, desperate Bastille environment where survival is, if ever, is the primary concern, and yet all they seem to care about is how badass the feathers in their cap look, or how cool something will be when it blows up, is lovely. It's satirical, it, it's what gamers are really like. We get dropped into these mind-bending worlds that would have been inconceivable to an old fart like me when I was a child, and all we want to do is uh, skydive naked out of a helicopter onto an old lady's face. Sometimes, though, you get the impression they're trying too hard. There's a one NPC in particular who says to you, I used to be a Volt Hunter like you until I took a bullet to the knee. And on the face of it, that's kind of an unobtrusive little throwaway reference. But then he giggles self-consciously, and there's no reason for him to giggle. He wouldn't find that funny because he doesn't know what it means. It's just a throwaway reference. And what that giggle signifies is sort of like write a short hand for, Hey, hey, do you see what we did there? And it reminds me of some of the worst excesses of the latest, uh, later Monkey Island games, where not a single reference could get by the camera without them going, Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, do you see what we did there? Ah. Uh. So yeah, um, having fun with it, looking forward very much to getting some multiplayer in, creating a character in all the classes, have to get to level 5 before it lets you do anything that's uniquely that character class, which is annoying as all fucking hell. But still, I'm persevering with it. So, hope you're having a positive experience with it, we'll be hearing from Bouncy Ball as and when he gets his big fat ass in gear. I'm Dalek Sex, and you've been listening to the Lower Course Megabit. Ooh.